This video is to show you how to work your double knitting. So in the last video I showed you how to cast on and here's my needle with my stitches. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve stitches on this needle. Um, this first stitch, which is really just the slip knot, that counts as two stitches because it has two loops on there. So I'm going to take my twelve stitches. This is how I casted them on because here's the working yarn. So for your first row you're going to turn it and then the first thing you're going to do is slip the first two stitches knitwise like so. After that you're going to knit the first stitch off of one strand and then you're going to purl the second stitch off the other strand. And I just hold both the strands on my finger. Um, I'm a continental knitter, so this is comfortable for me. If you are more comfortable holding one strand in your left hand and one strand in your right hand, you can do that. Just try your best to keep them straight so that you're always alternating between the two. Um, it's not the end of the world if you accidentally make two stitches in adjacent yarns, it will it will work itself out. Um, so at the end here, I've come to my slip knot. These are my last two stitches, and I'm going to purl them together with both strands of yarn. And on the edges, you're always going to do that. It'll make a nice little braided effect. All right, so turning again, here's my second row. First two stitches, I'm going to slip knitwise, and then I can see that my next stitch needs to be knit. So I'm going to knit that off of one strand, purl the second stitch off of the other strand. And when I turn a row, I start over with my two strands. I don't worry about what I knitted or purled with in the last row. I just start over. So trying to keep those two strands straight. So I'm knitting off the front strand, I'm purling off the back strand, and here I am on the last two stitches of my row. So I'm going to purl them together with both strands of yarn. And for the first few rows, you might think, oh, my double knitting looks giant and I can totally see the knit stitch or the purl stitches on the on the other side. Oh, it's not it's not closing up, but it will. I promise. The farther you go in it, it will close right up. To show you an example of that, here's something I'm currently double knitting. You can see that in the row that I'm working on, I can see the purl stitches coming through, or the, you know, the other side is a different color on this one. So I can see it on the top, but as you go down the fabric, you, you don't see the opposite side at all. So they are just reverse images of each other. And that slipped edge is gonna make a nice little braid up the side. Um, but in the case of this, since I'm just doing it all in one color, everything will just be red. So that is how you work your double knitting.